Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys, uh, so what we're going to do today is to tie a really simplified version of a temple dog, this one being a banana uh, temple dog, so I like calling these intro dogs because they're like a, an introductory version of it. I see a lot of guys uh, when they're sort of starting off with tying temple dogs and that and they try to get too complicated and then the flies lose proportion and lose movement. So I'm just going to show you how to tie a really, really simple one. So I'm going to just put this on plain tubing, all right? So I'm going to take maybe uh, two and a half centimeters or so, three centimeters of a simple black tube. And I'm just going to flare the front end of that and pop that onto our holder here. Now I'm going to use uh, a white gel spun for this but use whatever thread you have to hand and we're gonna lay on a little coating of that and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of super glue varnish will do the same just to make sure that doesn't slip. So on this fly I'm going to use fake jungle cock or imitation jungle cock whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to put that on first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shield that in behind our, uh, our feathers and therefore that will give it a little bit more of a natural look. Maybe hide it that little bit. So I'm going to put these on now at the front here and leave them pointing out forwards. So I'm now going to trim that. So when it comes the time to tie them in at the head we're simply going to fold them back and that'll save you adding more and more turns at your head when you've already got other materials on and, and I think where a lot of people struggle is that they build a lot of bulk, they build a lot of tying at the front. So next I'm going to take some olivey crystal hair or yellow crystal hair, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use this as both my tag and my uh, flash for my wing. So what we'll do is we're going to come back here to the rear of the fly. I'm going to catch the strand across its middle, so match up your two tips, catch the strand so it's sliding, slide it down and tie back onto it a little bit. Then I'm going to take a little bit of clear varnish and just varnish the portion where we're going to wrap that and that'll just help it to adhere to it. So we're just going to wrap that forward in a few turns. Okay. Then we tie it off, pull that forward and tie that again up to near the front and leave it hanging out the front. So for the body I'm going to use a dubbin. Um, now where do you get dubbin from? Uh, you can buy specific dubbings or I said this is the actual fox that I'm going to use for the wing itself. So I can take a bunch of that, cut off the tag and parts of it, pull out the yard hair if you want, you can hold that to side to use in something. And if you then just pull this apart, mix it through itself, you get a dubbing in the same color as the wing, so therefore it's going to blend in with the whole thing. If you want, you can then take some sort of flash um, angel hair, something along the lines of that, 
uh, and mix that in. So if we took a little bit of like a, it's a Spectre Dubbin, but anything Angel Hairways, and just pull it through itself, we then end up with a mix of our synthetic flashy dubbing and our actual uh, hair itself. So we take that, put it onto our tying thread, start to spin it, one turn to catch a few fibers and continue to spin it. We then get this nice dubbing rope. You can see the accents of flash coming through with it and wrap that forward. And I said we're not using anything fancy here, we're not. Um, I'm not even going to rib it because it's a fairly tight type dubbing because it has the length of the hair itself uh, and I've gel spun in the middle of it so it should be strong enough. I'll take my flash then that we left and pull that back and then we're going to tie in our wing. So if we take a bunch of our fox here, again how heavy or other ways do you want the wing to be? I'm going to pull out some of the under fur of this so I'm taking a bunch probably bigger than what the intended wing is going to be. If I then grab my wing so I'm grabbing about half the way along there so I'll have grabbed the tips, tips of some of this under fur and then I just stroke out the very shortest rubbish basically out of it. So now we have a wing and it already has that sort of a tapered teardrop shape to it so we can add that on directly as our wing. Um, I would probably tend to be going at least one and a half uh, the length of the uh, shank that you're using to well as long as you want basically so in this case because it's a single bunch we can just tie it straight on if you want you could also tie it in forward and fold it back but I'm gonna tie it in straight I'm gonna cut that off at the length I want it to be. I'm going to add a slight little dab of my clear varnish. Set it on so that it's not tight to the back of our flange. And tie that down. That then means that once I have my length I can cut off my flash. So I'm cutting it off at about two thirds the length of the wing. Then I'm just going to fold these two jungle cock back. As you can see they're quite short. Because they're uh, substitute jungle cock, uh, I'm sort of disguising them a little bit with my hackling, etc. And hopefully uh, that'll mute them and make them look a little bit more realistic. So then we're going to take. A banana colored yellowy olive type uh, soft tackle. I'm just going to slide those back, find the tip and snap it out and then you can see here I'm just keeping a few of the fibers forward. So once I've pulled some fibers forward that means there has to be stock there so just a slight little bit of stock. I'll set that on, tie across that little gap and fold it back. And then we want to wrap that hackle. So wrapping the hackle in front of a wing I think will help you with your heads. I'm just folding the hackle back here you can see as I wrap it. So I'm sliding it between my finger and thumb. So I slide it through that will force all the fibers onto one side. Stroke it back, wrap it through finger and thumb, and tie across it. A couple of turns will hold it in place, fold it back on itself so that it's neat.
snip it off. So that is the tying of our fly complete. We just need to finish the head. So because I used a white gel spun, what I'm going to do is just take a marker, mark up a little bit of it, and wrap that in. Finish it off. And varnish it. So, that's the fly tied. So, as you can see, no frills attached. It's a very simplified version of a temple dog. But, hopefully taking away some of the complicated steps will lead you to a slightly better profile in your fly uh, until you start to get more and more complicated as you go along and uh, are, are more used to materials. So, we'll call that the banana uh, intro dog or introductory temple dog. Uh, so hopefully you like what you see, hopefully it'll give you some ideas uh, and if you did like it, hit the like button, likes uh, help my channel uh, to grow, so until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.